Seasonal affective disorder got you down? Yeah, me too. How about a seed haul? just the absolute worst month of the year to me after Christmas time is over and we put away all the decorations I just I don't know what to do with myself <laughs> it happens every year I try to keep myself busy I work out and luckily living in Georgia we can go outside you know we don't have snow so it's there's nothing fun about the winter. It's like mushy and wet a lot of times, cold and windy. We get a few sunny, nice days, but it's enough to get even the most cheerful person down. And I don't think anyone would accuse me of being the most cheerful person they know, unfortunately. Sarcastic, maybe? I don't know. But there are a few things that I like to do when I'm feeling down, and it's a lot to do with my garden. I like to plan ahead and this year especially is like a super exciting year for us with this land. We're going to have the biggest garden that I've ever had and because of that I went a little crazy in ordering my seeds this year. Luckily I was able to get on Baker Creek before their site crashed and I ordered all of my seeds in early December. I had a few packets left over from last year and so I'll show you um, everything I have and my little assistant here, this is Bugsy, he's one of our three dogs, he's the best one, he's the sweetest, he's going to help me because he's mom's baby and he likes to be where I am. So I'll start with the flowers that I got. Also check out this cute basket found this at Goodwill. It's divided and it's just the perfect size for my seed packs with a little handle. Score. So anyway, here are some of the flowers that I ordered. Obviously, nasturtiums. Just a given for any vegetable garden. I got some milkweed because I plan to start a big like maybe perennial or mixed flower garden around these big rocks of the property. I'll definitely take you and show you. This is Echinacea. I'm hoping to get more into um, herbs and learning more um, about useful herbs, medicinal herbs. Got Mongolian giant sunflower. Zinnias. Hollyhocks. I've never tried these before, but they're just so gorgeous. So I had to get them. We'll give them a try. I got um, an evening sun mixed colors pack of sunflowers because I hope to do a sunflower area and some foxgloves for here at my house. So that's all my flowers from seeds. I'm sure that that won't be all the flowers I plant because when Lowe's starts putting out their flowers, I just can't resist a lot of times. So, let me move on to my cooler weather veggies. Let's see. I have some leftover um Ragged Jack Kale. I planted this on my porch in a little pot and I have been eating on it for months. It's delicious. It's really soft. It's kind of less tough than a lot of kale. It's happy and it's delicious. So if you can get some Ragged Jack, love it. I got this lettuce as my free seed with my order from Baker Creek. I'm not going to try to say that. I got some muscade carrots from Baker Creek last year. 
and I planted these in my garden and they were coming up really nicely in the fall and then I had a trail cam out there and some little rabbits came through and I just watched them eat every single one of my carrots it was heartbreaking this year I have a fence to take care of that and I think we'll have better luck also some purple cauliflower which I have coming up out there now but it's I haven't been taking good care of it and then I have some little burpee early peas left from last year that came up and I got a few but the rabbits also like these that ate every bit of the leaves and green down to the dirt they didn't leave me much so anyway now my main crop that I want to have a lot of and concentrate on is tomatoes. I love tomato sandwiches. I love to cook with tomatoes. I wanna put away sauce and salsa, maybe ketchup and barbecue sauce, which I haven't tried those before. I'm just really getting into canning. I canned a lot of jellies and jams and I canned a little bit of tomatoes last year, but this year I really wanna like buckle down and learn how to pressure can. I wanna do soups and prepared meals so that this time next year when I'm down in the dumps and don't feel like cooking dinner for the family, I have all these nice beautiful jars of food that I grew myself waiting for me in the basement. So, tomatoes. I'm gonna do my cherry tomatoes here at the house because they produce so much. They need picked all the time. So I'm gonna do them right outside where I had my small garden last year. All my big tomatoes will be out at the land and you'll be seeing a lot of those. So for here, I got the blue cream berries. Don't those look neat? Thought I'd try these, never have before. Black cherry tomatoes. And those are the only um, little ones that I got. I ordered some Bonnie Best, big ones. Some Cherokee Purples. I've had lots of good luck with these in the past. They're delicious and they're pretty. I got some Amish Paste Tomatoes so I can do sauce. I also ordered some San Marzano from um, the MI Gardener. And I also couldn't get any spaghetti squash from Baker Greek, so I ordered from him too um, some spaghetti squash. I wanted some garlic, but I haven't had any luck with garlic anywhere. I already have my tomato seedlings planted though, or my seeds planted. They're not sprouted yet, but I'm ahead of the game on that. Um, I got some brandywine yellow tomatoes. I've never grown a yellow tomato, but those were pretty, so we're going to try that out. Some classic beef steaks and some Abe Lincoln. I think it's super cool how Baker Creek has the stories about some of these heirloom seeds. It's really neat. I got another one that was interesting. It had a story with it. Not tomato, but beans. What do you think, Bugsy? He's still just sitting here being sweet as he can be. You need seeds? Yeah, you like these seeds. <laughs> All right. These were the ones that had the story, the Cherokee Trail of Tears beans. If you go on their website, they have these little videos. It's super cool. So maybe you should go check it out. I got Good Mother Stallard beans, which I hope to put up for soups. And I make a lot of soup. Also, we're not we're not vegetarian, but we do only eat meat a couple of nights a week. So I like to make a lot of different vegetarian dishes, and um, beans are a big staple and stuff like that. I got some Alabama black eyed butter beans, some Kalima beans, green bean variety. Some black turtle beans. These are greasy grits beans, which sounds kind of gross, but they are like native to my area, so I thought I'd try those out. All right, so that's a lot of seeds already, but there are more here. 
like I said, I already started my onions. And I got yellow sweet Spanish onion and Weathersfield red. Actually, I watched a video after I had already started those um, from the MI Gardener, and he talked about long day versus short day onions. And I think I have the wrong ones for my, <laughs> for my climate, but we're going to give it a go. I don't have to have giant ones. I just want to have enough to eat. I got some shishito peppers, some habanada, good. some California wonder peppers, orange bell peppers, Craig's grande jalapeno, some poblanos, I like this stuff and that's all my peppers I got two varieties of watermelon Charleston gray and Georgia rattlesnake and I'll show you my garden area I wasn't planning to do my squashes and watermelons inside my fenced area I wanted to do it kind of around on the flat area where we don't have a lot of grass or anything growing but we had some neighbors stop by the other day when we were at the land and he told me last year he had a bunch of watermelons and he was waiting for them all to ripen up before he picked them and raccoons came and just ate into all of them. So I'm really hoping that they don't get into all our stuff. I'm hoping they don't get into our garden. I've never had to deal with raccoons before because I've always kind of gardened in subdivisions, but we've seen them on the trail cam. We know they're there. I think they're cute right now, but if they start getting into my garden, they're not going to be cute to me anymore, and we're going to have to figure out what to do. So if you have any suggestions about, you know, repelling raccoons, I'd love to hear them. All right. Oh, I also have some Brussels sprouts down in here for cold weather, and the rabbits got those last time too, but I'm counting on my fence this year to keep those rabbits away those wascally wabbits all right last few things i have some clemson spineless okra i love fried okra and in soups i like okra some dark cucumbers i don't know what these are called you can do your best to say that these looked pretty we like to make pickles and we just like to eat cucumbers. They're my favorite green vegetable, really. And I got some Chicago pickling cucumbers. And something I'm trying this year that I've never tried before. My dad did a lot of gardening and um, he loved growing corn. I've never grown corn before, but I got some Stowell's Evergreen. And we'll see how that goes because I do love to eat corn. I got some straight neck squash and some black beauty zucchini and last but not least some crook neck squash and here in Georgia we have a lot of problem with squash buds so hopefully since this is our first year gardening that land and no one's ever gardened it before um, Maybe there's not a lot of bugs in the soil yet. I'm sure they'll find it once we get everything planted. But I'm hoping to be able to do this organically and not have a lot of, you know, artificial um, fertilizers or pesticides or anything like that. I'm going to do my very best to use organic gardening practices. So um, hopefully we'll have good luck with that. And um I'm just looking forward to some sunny days. I'm looking forward to getting all my seedlings up and going. That's another challenge. Um, I do not have a greenhouse. I am counting on my big four south facing windows to get all these seedlings going and I have a plan. I wish I had brought, my husband gave me this awesome little garden journal for Christmas and I've already started writing in there and planning and, um, I have it mapped out month by month what I need to do and have done that month to get everything planned.
planted in April. I just cannot wait for the sunny days. And um, I just hope that this 2021 year is going to be good for everyone. Um, after last year and the beginning of this year, I'm just hoping for a little more normalcy. And I'm sure all of you guys are too. Just stay safe and stay happy and stay healthy. And we'll talk to you next time. Bye. Thank you.